Mariam has three healthy children. For health reasons, her doctor has advised her against having a fourth child. Amina wants to finish her training first and only then plans to start a family. Franca works alternate shifts, so it's difficult for her not to forget to regularly take an oral contraceptive. Contraceptives with estrogen don't agree with Clara and she doesn't want to put a strain on her body with unnecessary hormones. Antonia is breastfeeding her second baby and needs a reliable contraceptive that doesn't have a negative effect on the breast milk. Jadel. A lot of women decide on Jadel, the contraceptive that effectively and reliably prevents pregnancy for up to five years. Jadel is an ambulant treatment inserted by a doctor just under the skin. It has a contraceptive effect until it's removed, that is, for up to five years. Jadel continuously releases very small amounts of the hormone levonorgestrel. These small amounts are sufficient to constantly keep up the contraceptive effect through two main mechanisms, namely by affecting the ovarian function and by thickening of the cervical mucus. After a small incision in the upper inner arm, the rods are inserted subdermally. The rods are made of silicon tubes, they're very flexible and light and can hardly be felt under the skin. Once inserted, these flexible rods don't get out of their position under the skin, even under higher pressure or great strain. Low levels of levonogestrel circulating in the blood trigger the following mode of action of Jadel. Thickening of the servial mucus. Inhibition of ovulation in about 45 to 85 percent of menstrual cycles. Suppression of endometrial maturation. Decreased natural progesterone production from the ovary during the post-ovulatory phase. After insertion, Jadel continuously releases levonorgestrel and provides contraception. Serum levels are maintained throughout the five-year period by controlled release of levonorgestrel from the implant rods. Jadel is one of the most effective and safe contraceptive methods. Especially within the use of condoms and diaphragms, the typical use differs significantly from the perfect use. User failure is much more likely to happen. The mean estradiol levels during the five years of use do not differ from those in control patients, which is reflected, for instance, in unchanged bone health. The patient should lie down on the examination table with her non-dominant arm extended on a sterile cloth on the table. Clean the patient's upper arm with an antiseptic solution and cover the arm with either two sterile cloths or a sterile fenestrated drape. The optimal insertion area is the inside of the upper arm, about 6 to 8 centimeters above the elbow creep. The rods will be inserted subdermally through a small 2 mm incision in the shape of a narrow V, opening towards the armpit. Fill the syringe with two to four milliliters of local anesthetic. Anesthetize the insertion area by inserting the needle just under the skin, about five to 5.5 centimeters in the direction where you want to introduce the trocar. Jadel is provided with a disposable trocar that's sharp enough to penetrate the skin directly. Thus, the disposable trocar can be used to puncture the skin and insert the rods without the need for an incision. When inserting Jadel implants, the mark closest to the handle indicates how far the trocar should be introduced under the skin before the loading of each implant. The mark closest to the tip indicates how much of the trocar should be left under the skin after the insertion of the first implant. Check that the bevel of the trocar is oriented upwards. 
Once the tip of the trocar is inserted just beneath the skin, direct the trocar along the skin while tenting, lifting the skin, and pointing upwards towards the skin to keep the rods in a superficial subdermal position. This position of the trocar shall be maintained throughout the insertion procedure in order to avoid a deep placement of the rods, which could make removal more difficult. Advance the trocar beneath the skin about 5.5 cm from the incision to the mark closest to the hub of the trocar. Do not force the trocar, and if you feel any resistance, try another direction. Remove the plunger when the trocar is advanced to the correct mark, and load the first implant into the trocar either with tweezers or fingers. Push the implant gently with the plunger to the tip of the trocar until you feel resistance. Never force the plunger. Hold the plunger steady and pull the trocar back until it touches the hub of the plunger. Do not completely remove the trocar until both rods have been placed. The mark closest to the tip indicates how much of the trocar should be left under the skin after the insertion of the first implant. When you can see the mark near the tip of the trocar, the implant has been released and will remain in place beneath the skin. You can check this by palpation. The second implant is inserted at the side of the first one to form a V-shape. Fix the position of the first rod with the left forefinger and advance the trocar along the other side of the finger. This will ensure a suitable distance between implants. After the insertion, press the edges of the incision together and close the incision with a sterile skin closure. Cover the insertion area with a compress and wrap enough gauze around the arm to ensure hemostasis. The insertion area should be kept dry for three days. Observe the patient for a few minutes for signs of syncope or bleeding from the incision before she leaves the clinic. The implant now offers Antonia a safe protection from pregnancy. Only after five years at the latest, Jadel has to be removed. Locate the implants by palpation, possibly marking their position with a marker pen. Inject a small amount of local anaesthetic under the ends of the implants that are closer to each other. Anesthetic injected over the rod may obscure their position and make removal more difficult. Make a 4mm incision with the scalpel close to the ends of the implants. Keep the incision small. Push each rod with your fingers gently towards the incision. When the tip is visible in the incision, grasp it with the mosquito forceps. Use a scalpel to very gently open the tissue capsule around the rod. Grasp the end of the implant with a cryal forceps. Remove the implant gently. Repeat the procedure for the second rod. Measure the length of the removed implants to make sure the patient had two Jadel implants and not other contraceptive implants. The length should be 43 millimeters. After the procedure is completed, close the incision and bandage it as after insertion. The arm should be kept dry for a few days. Following removal, pregnancy may occur at any time. Jadel. Many women choose Jadel, the long-term contraceptive that effectively and reliably prevents pregnancy for up to five years.